Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204, and it has been nine years. Nine years of Let's Playing. I started this all at the beginning of April in 2011 and never looked back. <laughs> it's been... it's been interesting. There have been a lot of fun things that I did and a lot of things that I wish didn't happen, but um... Just in terms of Let's Playing itself, I'm really, just really happy with, with how things are. Um, the, over the past year, uh, there have been a lot of projects that I was able to do that have uh, been things that I've just been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, the main thrust of year eight was the big four. Um, Katamari Damacy reroll, Twilight Princess HD, uh, Final Fantasy X HD, and uh, Mother 3. All games that I just really wanted to play forever. I mean, Katamari was relatively new, so I can't necessarily say that, but... Uh, Twilight Princess FF10 and Mother 3, uh, I'm just, uh, things that I really, really wanted to do. Um, and I got them all done. I'm incredibly happy with how this t year turned out in terms of those projects. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy X took most of the year, but, uh, I was able to do everything that I wanted to in that game. I, and I did it all legitimately, too. Hooray. Twilight Princess HD also is just one of my favorite games of all time. I mean, this 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 past year was just playing some of my favorite games of all time. Um, we also streamed um, Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2. And, um, you know, just got, got a, lot of, a lot of fun things done. Um... The general trends for the channel were interesting to see. Uh, since Final Fantasy VII Remaster is you know coming out soon, very soon, um, there has been a general uptick in people's uh, uh, attention toward Final Fantasy VII content. Um, as it has been for the past few years, my Limit Break videos have been the most viewed things on my channel. Um, yeah, you know, my channel hasn't been super insanely popular, but over the past year, each of the Limit Break videos have gotten several thousand views each, which is crazy. Uh, but in addition to that, Crisis Core has been consistently getting attention, and I'm so happy because that was such a special project to me, and, you know, it being part of the Final Fantasy VII compilation, I'm just glad that, you know, people have been looking for it um, as a way to whet their appetite went a while waiting for the remake to come out. Um, also, uh, my Evil Land 2 and Golden Sun Let's Plays have been getting uh, a lot of attention. And by a lot, I just mean like at least a few hundred views or like three or four or five hundred views over the past year, which is is crazy because none of these things got attention when they came out. Um, I'm just really happy. Like, it's cool to see. Like, I'm looking at my analytics here. Like, the top ten has of my channel, like, has and will probably always be the Limit Break videos, Nino Kuni's uh, rare item farming video, and the Katamari intros. <laughs> That's always the top ten. They they generally like generally get you know between five to seven thousand views uh, a year. And I don't like talking about views specifically as if it's like yay those specific numbers are cool. It's just it's interesting to see what people are looking at and especially the things I've done on my channel, especially things like the limit break videos, which are you know six or seven years old at this point. Um, but. You know, just going past the top 10 there uh, to the actual Let's Play videos, uh, it's just a whole load of Crisis Core stuff, which is crazy. Like, the, especially the last video, the uh, the mission, uh, not the, the last story video, the last mission video where we fought Minerva, 
um, that has gotten a lot of attention. Um, <laughs> the Canadian laser bear video that I did from Age of Mythology always gets a lot of attention. Um, Mario RPG intro. The intros always get attention too, which is one reason why I like uploading the intro video separately, because some people just look for the intro to games as opposed to like a first episode of a Let's Play. So it's good It's good to grab people onto the channel and it's good for people that just that don't want to look for a channel, but they just want to look for the intro. <laughs> it helps them out. Um, but yeah, Crisis Core and Evil Land and a little bit of Golden Sun have been like the top players this year, which is so cool. Like, again, I'm... I can't believe, like, it, I know why Crisis Core is getting it, because it has Final Fantasy VII in the name, and people are just looking up Final Fantasy VII because the remake is coming out, but um, that game is underappreciated, and I'm glad that my Let's Play is has been enough of an outlet for people, you know? Um, and also, just based on, like, average view duration, um, you know, the Crisis Core videos generally have a technically longer watch time you know the average view do view duration obviously is not the whole episode because most people just click on a video and click off of it but um you know seeing like 15 minutes on a, a average you know views of a crisis core video that's 30 minutes long means that you know out of you know the 500 people that looked at it this past year uh half of those people watched the whole video so that's 250 people watching the whole episode and <laughs> that's uh quite a bit more than uh you know <laughs> my current stuff and i'm perfectly happy with like uploading things and getting just like you know the usual suspects watching it and then like four years later all of a sudden people are interested in it because that's apparently how the algorithm works it like buries it in the ground in a little time capsule and then you know like five years later you know the mayor of youtube town you know digs it up and shows it to the residents and says look this is from 2015 or 2016 but yeah um so i'm just happy again i'm just happy that crisis core has been getting it um but yeah uh like as opposed to other stuff uh you know, just in general, the... I I don't know how well my channel did this year compared to the previous year. It doesn't look like it was, like, stupendous in terms of, uh, you know, general viewage, um, aside from Crisis Core, once again. Uh, let me see. Let's see... 18 to 19. Oh yeah, this past year was definitely a lot better than the previous year. Dang, okay. Um, that's good. Yeah, so that was all Crisis Core. I'm going to be saying Crisis Core a lot. Um, but yeah, um, in terms of just like life events, this past year was crazy. Um... <laughs> I talked about, you know, the general trends for the year in, um, you know, the January 1st video, so I don't want to, like, go over that again, but, um, you know, I got, I don't know if I, I think I did more streams over the past Let's Playing year, um, than I did previously, although, like, the streams this year were kind of weird, um, but we got a bunch of stuff done, like the Ocarina Time Randomizer, and, uh, the, like I said, the Kingdom Hearts, um, Gris, and Super Hot, and, um, uh, in terms of, like, other channels, like, got, like, the Precipice 3 and 4 going, and, uh, Trails in the Sky right now, so a lot of cool things are happening. Um, I'm very excited for this coming year. This coming year is the start of year 10. Year 10! You know, obviously it's not going to be 10 full years until next April, but it's the start of year 10, and I talked about this before, but there's only one project. <laughs> Surprise, there's only one project that I can think of that would be a good way to 
wrap around the 10th year, and that's going to be Final Fantasy VII Remake. You know, last year it was the year of uh, fulfilled projects, is what I want to say. Um, you know, aside from Katamari Reroll, which was just my personal fulfillment of, of a wish, um, the other three projects of FF10, Twilight Princess, and Mother 3 were all highly requested games over the course of my Let's Playing career. Um, they were all either winners of polls or things that people have been like asking about since day one, pretty much. So last year was the year of, of wish fulfillment, and today this year is going to be the year of um, back to basics, I guess. We're not going to have Katamari Damacy re-roll like last year, but, um, you know, my first Let's Play, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, second Let's Play Luigi's Mansion, those were both done during year seven uh, from their remakes. So Let's Play number three on my end was Final Fantasy VII. So I don't think there can be any better choice than Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I'm not going to be able to start it right away because it doesn't even come out for a week and a half. But starting on April 20th, 420, we are going to be blazing a trail through Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's going to be blind. I might play ahead on my own time, so it might be semi-blind over the course of the game. Who knows? Uh, depends on how much I can get recorded every day and how much space I have in my hard drive. But I'm really looking forward to uh, taking a look at this game that, you know, started my video game career in general. There's a reason why I'm Sephiroth Level 4. Um, that started my love of JRPGs. You know, Pokemon was like my first, first, you know, real video game, but... Final Fantasy VII was the game that made me realize that, you know, video gaming can be, like, <laughs> deep. And Final Fantasy VII isn't, like, that deep, but, like, for, you know, an eight-year-old child playing that game and seeing the, the graphics compared to, like, Pokemon or whatever junk was, you know, the early 90s uh, id software and Apogee software computer games. It was, it, it was mind-blowing. So, you know, I'm really excited. I hope that you all, you know, tune in for the Let's Play. Um, it's nice to see FF7 <laughs> getting the love it deserves. I'm one of those people that does not think that it's overrated. I understand that FF7 has its problems that isn't the best game of all time, but you know what? I love it. <laughs> And um, I'm going to be putting a lot into this upcoming project, and I really, really hope that, you know, I'm able to make it as special as I want it to be. So thank you all very much for watching, for tuning in, for coming to the streams, for commenting, for liking, for just hanging out on Discord or Twitter or wherever. Um, this was one of the you know, best years that I, I had on YouTube in general, like, it's, uh, you know, the algorithm, algorithm that has not been kind to me for a while, um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to see that things have been, I wouldn't say turning around, but they've been evening out, you know, all the, the hard work has been coming back, and um, I really look forward to this year, to the start of year 10. It's crazy to think that, and I have more projects on the way aside from Final Fantasy VII, but that's definitely going to be the focus of the year. So thank you all very much for watching again, and I look forward to bringing you more content. Thank you so very much you know whether you're new or you've been around forever and believe me i notice if you've been around forever i i keep track <laughs> um i appreciate you so very much goodbye everybody bye bye